All right, guys, the harvest continues out here on Middleburg. Our Middleburg first generational farmer. Oh, man, it's, it's coming together. And it's this is this is going to be the day. It's, things are all going to kind of come together for us. I can just feel it. We've already harvested a bunch of our barley the other day. We've got our barley into our, uh, our silo here. We're going to have to transport this really soon. And there is something going on today that, well, has to do with the barley, to be perfectly honest. I mean, while our main wheat field here is looking... Pretty darn fine. I mean, look at this. It's looking, we got a good good harvest coming up today on this. We also should be replanting the barley today as well. It's it's replant time. It's the right conditions to replant the barley right now. So I kind of got two things I got to do in the next 24 hours. It's called multitasking. Of course, you guys know, as soon as we get that harvested, we're taking the wheat and barley over to our mill. And we need that, uh, well, we need the wheat, but the cracked, what was it, rolled barley. We need the rolled barley. And also, also cracked corn as well as the other thing we're going to need. So rolled barley, cracked corn are the two things we're really looking for. And of course, both of those are just going to be going to use at the old K-Sims Special Brown Distillery here in Middleburg. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's, uh, it's We need to do this properly this time because last time we ended up making flour out of our wheat. We have already acknowledged that certain procedural mistakes were made. Our wheat just has to come straight here this time. I mean, otherwise you're going to hear about it from this guy all over again. I'm really sick about hearing it from him. What's he got going on here? Oh, that's awkward. So guys, let's set up the equipment, fire everything up, and I'll meet you guys over in the wheat field. Let's get our harvest on. Let's go. All right, guys, conditions are looking pretty good. Gertie, uh, she's out here helping us out once again. The wheat field's looking pretty good. We got the case, we got the white. Everything should go smoothly, I think. We'll come bale this once again. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the bales we got. That's a whole other issue. But guys, that uh, that straw, we'll deal with that later. That's, that's easy. It's just kind of, well, the towers is what I'm worried about. Anyways, let's get this case into the field. Let's go. Um, looks good. Let's fire it back on up. The first little uh, cut in there looked pretty good. And uh, let's drop the head on in. Let's go. Perfect. All right, guys. We're harvesting. We're harvesting wheat again. Now, you may remember we did harvest. We did do a harvest of wheat. I did mess up completely. Instead of taking it to, um, well, the case of a special brown distillery, I ended up, well, making flour out of it. Yeah, not the smartest thing I could have done. Uh, I don't need flour. I need the wheat. I don't need flour. So we ended up still selling that flour, you may recall, and we made some money on it at least. So that was something that needed to happen anyways. Making the extra cash was definitely beneficial. But really, I, I needed to, to go to the distillery, which is what we're going to be doing today. Now, we did have also to put it uh, the cracked corn and the rolled barley. Well, both of those we've technically well, already made. We've, we've had the corn from last harvest last year in the mud pit. We got the corn off that and we've taken that over to... Uh, over to the, the mill, and that's been made into crack corn. We've got quite a bit of that now, like 80,000 farm units of crack corn. The rolled barley, it's being made as we speak. So everything's coming together. Guys, really, this wheat could be, well, the last thing we need to do for that. We've got corn to harvest in the fall, mind you, but the wheat, that's really where it's at. Not gonna lie, guys, I'm a little disappointed in the yield we're getting off the wheat here. Already on uh, our, what, third headland? Just finishing our third headland, and Gertie's just starting to get full now i'm i've been sitting here drinking some coffee and not getting not doing any work making her do all the work which is kind of nice to be honest but at the same time i would like to be getting more of a yield just just saying look at this this is ridiculous i'm not already go forward no don't back into me don't back into me get going get going you can do this oh i guess i'm in her way you know what well uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get it over way i'm gonna get it over way just pull pull this on through no no, no. I, oh boy she's no oh, she's causing problems Sorry, Gertie. My bad. My bad. No, you know what? It's your bad. What are you doing? You can go forward. You don't need to... There you go. Anyways. You know what, guys? Lower expectations sometimes, right? <laughs> you gotta lower those expectations. expectations. So I was expecting a little bit more. I thought we'd have a full hopper by now, but... Eh, not so much. So... I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer. I'm, I'm, I'm not really happy about this. I'm gonna need more wheat fields, I think. If this is... This is all we're gonna get off the wheat. It's, it's uh, definitely the lowest yielding field I've seen so far of our barley and our corn. Yeah, the uh, the wheat 
kind of an issue. Man, guys, this harvest is so weak. I am, oh man, this is crazy. Um, we haven't even been back to fill the silo up at all yet. This is uh, kind of ridiculous, to be honest. We're, we've, we're pretty much done the field. I might have to go, I'm gonna go take what I can get right here. Uh, I don't think I need to come back. Dirty can just bring whatever she's got in the combine back with her. Uh, I don't need to, to take any more. I, I am really quite disappointed, to be honest with you. This is just not enough. There's no way. Oh, man, I need to get more fields, guys. That might be our new priority is to get more field space to uh, to pick up some more wheat. I, I can't believe how little wheat we're getting off this. I am I'm kind of flabbergasted. If you guys watched uh, our previous our previous video with the barley, you know we got quite a bit of barley off that. Like probably three times as much barley off the same. The yield was like three times higher than the wheat was. I don't know what happened here. Um, yeah, I'm at a loss, you guys. But you know what I'm not at a loss about is all our new subscribers to the channel. Hey, welcome in, new guys. How do you like that segue? Uh, if you're brand new into the channel, well, first of all, welcome in. If you haven't subscribed yet, maybe go down to the bottom, click the subscribe button, and uh, click the bell while you're down there, and maybe you'll get a chance to, well, see your name at the bottom of our next video as well. It could happen. It definitely could happen. And uh, maybe hit that big thumbs up while you're down there. That always helps uh, the old YouTube algorithm as well. You guys know how that works. Let's head back to the farm. Let's go dump off this little bit of wheat I've got. Man, disappointed right now. Yeah, I might have to come back and give her a hand still. Uh, still quite a bit of field there. I, it's bigger. It's more than I thought. It's bigger than I expected. So we're just done with phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore. All right. I just I just talked to Gertie. She's she's fine. She's got more than enough uh, room in the hopper. So um, we might as well start bailing, I guess. I feel like I'm gonna make more, it's, I'm gonna get a better yield off the straw than I am the wheat, though. I'm like, ah, what do you do? Anyways, we'll make some bales here, and then, um, guys, it's from here on. It's it's gonna be special brown time. Special brown time. Uh, we'll see how that works out for us. Should be good. I hope. I hope it's better than this wheat. Oh man, such a low yield. All right, guys, we're switching out and let Gertie do the bailing for the rest of the day here. Uh, she's probably got about an hour worth of work here on the bales. We'll see. I, I think she's got enough netting in there. It looked like it was going to be fine. Uh, I, I have no idea how many bales we're going to get off this. We have 44 bales off of the barley field. I'm curious to see what she gets off this. There could be quite a few bales that she's going to pick up. I have no idea. She's done one round so far. Um, yeah, you got you to gotta turn this thing around, Gertie. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There she goes. She's, she's got this, I think. Yeah, yeah, she's good. She's good. She's good. Just trying to figure it out. <sighs> it's not easy sometimes. We're just going to watch her for a second here and make sure she gets... Come on, Gertie, you're, you're embarrassing yourself here. Everyone's watching you. Every, Everyone's watching you. Just go right. Just just follow. Yep, there you go. Hey, she did it. I was worried it was going to turn into an absolute mess, and she figured it out. You know what, guys? Slap the like for Gertie. There you go. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty awkward, doesn't it? Anyways, um, let's head back to the farm. We'll see if we can start shipping some of our products over to... Well, we got to make some some of the rolled barley, and we've got um, we got the wheat we got to ship as well. Let's go. All right, that should do us for harvesting at least. Let's go see if we can empty that silo out and really start making some money here. Well, we're getting close. We're so close. Um, I got to go move those bins. Yeah, let's move these out of the way. Come on, let's go. Get out of there. And let's go load up the old snowplow dump truck. Uh, we'll start shipping with this. It holds roughly the same. It's just a little bit easier to drive, a little bit faster. This is gonna be our last load. We've uh, we've been moving all of our all of our products out of this over to the mill and over to our special brown distillery, of course. This is it. Like we're gonna go check. We're gonna go check on well how the barley is making out, and uh, we'll see what we've got for uh, what is it, the rolled barley and of course the cracked corn. I'll show you that. Let's head over. Oh boy, um, I don't know how Gertie's doing. It doesn't matter. Let's head over. Let's head over to the mill and take a look. Oh, let's go. So, like I said, guys, we need to get this barley made into the rolled barley before we take it over to our distillery. And that's why we're at the flour mill right now. That's what we're going to do with this. So this gets made into rolled barley. Uh, we also take our corn in here and turn it to cracked corn in the same place. Right, actually, uh, right there. That's where our cracked corn goes. Barley, 
Well, it goes down over here and gets rolled into the rolled barley. And from there, guys, once that's all packaged up, then we'll be able to ship that over to our distillery, which we should have a little bit. I'll go double check our, our quantities right now, but all, um, it looks pretty good. I think we're getting there. Well, you can just see how much we've got going on right now. So we've got 50,000 liters of the barley. 34 already made into rolled barley. That's not bad. Crack corn's already done. We've got the 83,000 farm units of crack corn ready to go. Guys, let's start shipping this stuff. Um, I've got a trailer back at the farm. We can, we can start making a little bit of use out of. Let's head back to the farm. We'll grab the truck. We've got the avalanche. And we got a we got a storage trailer, a cargo trailer. All right, guys, we've got our, uh, our little trailer, our little cargo trailer. I'm starting, you know what? We don't have the money to buy anything crazy. I would love to get a truck and a 53-foot trailer to go with it. But for now, this little cargo trailer is really going to have to do. So I've got them moving some uh, some pallets out for us. And we're going to load up. We'll load up the cracked corn first. The Henny Penny Premium Cracked Corn, guys. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get it in the trailer. <laughs> All right. Nice. Uh, I mean, I didn't design I didn't design the box, guys. This is this is just what they do with it. Don't ask me. All right, we got four pallets in there. We've got quite a few still left to grab. This is going to take a hot minute at four pallets at a time. At least um, we don't have to drive very far. That's the one benefit of this. We're really close. All right, guys. I'm I'm kind of excited. We've we've done a little bit of shipping. We've got a little bit of the crack corn over here. This is all crack corn right now. I've got some of the rolled barley. Of course, we put the wheat in here earlier. Um, I think we can finally fire this distillery up. It's taken forever. I'm just excited to get this going, guys. All right, we are empty. Let's let's take a look and see how our productions are looking. Oh, yeah, here we go. Everything is being built. So we've got all our products in. I need, obviously, some more rolled barley, but some brown water, some, some corn brown water, and some premium brown water down there. Everything's looking, looking good. We, we're producing. Everything is starting to come together. We don't have enough of this. We need we need more we need more wheat, guys. That was such a weak harvest. Oh, painful, guys. We've got our first products. I know it's been uh, it's only been about half the day. I know we've been working on this for a little bit, but look at it. we got the Kasim Special Brown. We got the Slow Aged Corn Special Brown, and then of course we got our standing standard Kasim Special Brown. I can't believe our first batch is ready to go. I almost want to keep the first batch. That might be offside. That might be offside. I'm going to load this. I'm going to load these bad boys up into the trailer. We're going to go sell these off and see what kind of money we can make right off the bat. Oh, man. I, I'm just so excited. We're actually making it. It's actually happening. It's happening. All right, guys. So our, the best price I've been offered so far for our testing kit is from a little local B&B. &B. And, uh, you know, it's, um, I'm asking quite a, quite a pretty penny. You know what? We went to the local mall and, uh, they, there was no one really willing to, to buy it there. To be honest with you, it was pretty, uh, pretty not worth my time. So anyways, I got our two barrels. We're taking it over. We're going to go sell these off right now. It's, it's just a, I, I, I don't know. It's like, a, was it was an Airbnb or uh VRB. I don't know what this place is to be perfectly honest. I never knew it existed until we started calling around and sure enough, um, they're, they're looking for some specialty brown waters to sell. Some, uh, some local tastes, I guess. I, I don't know, man. He got me. Let's go sell this off. It's just down here. The Klein House Bed and Breakfast. Um, all right, man. Let's, uh, let's pull on in. I don't think I've ever been in here before. Let's uh, see if we can make a little bit of money from these guys. Oh, boy. So, two barrels, 20000 bucks, A little over for the two barrels. So, we're making about 10000 bucks a barrel. <laughs> the old Airbnbs down here. That ain't bad, you guys. That ain't bad at all. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, not... Not too bad. All right, we're going to make some decent money, I think. As long as we keep selling. Hopefully, they can sell out of that pretty quick because I, I need to sell some more to him. So, guys, we can make some pretty good money doing this, I think. I, we made our first sale. This is our first sale. It's our freaking first sale. That is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Of course, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. But we're going to wrap it up today and uh, get back to work on these fields. we got to go sell some bales off, I think. That'll make us a little bit of money as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, uh, like I said, subscribe if you're new around here and uh, want to see the rest of how we do out here in Middleburg. And, uh, of course, thanks to our members. Cheers to channel members. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch from Middleburg. Have a great one, you guys. Let's go home.